In this video, I'm going to give you 10 contemporary texts that will be perfect to use as a devising stimulus. These plays are all adventurous and daring. They explore urgent issues and curious characters across a huge range of different writing styles. With these plays, you can explore a single section or moment and how to stage it, or use them as a catalyst to develop and devise your own exciting material. These plays offer up words and ideas that are playful, flexible, and endlessly inventive. 100 Plays for the First 100 Days by Susan Laurie Parks. This play is made up of 100 mini plays, one written on each day of Donald Trump's first 100 days in office. They're quirky, fun, and full of satire. They feature a whole host of cracking cameos from real characters that you could have a lot of fun with. You could take any one of the short plays and make an expanded version of it, perhaps exploring the before and after, as well as looking in more detail at the characters and their lives. This play gives you 100 insightful and interesting starting points for making a thought-provoking and theatrical story. The Accident Did Not Take Place by Yes Yes No No. This play is a one-of-a-kind collection of words, images and activities, and it only takes 10 minutes to read. It's crammed full of inspirational theatrical ideas. The text focuses on the story of a plane crash and its aftermath. It explores the themes of love, memory and grief. I've never read a play text like it before and it's incredibly innovative. I think it's the perfect stimulus to provoke bold and interesting work. Pity by Rory Malarkey. This is a terrifically fun and hugely satirical ensemble play. The play's blurb sums it up pretty well. A normal day. A person stands in the market square watching the world go by. What happens next verges on the ridiculous. There's ice cream, sunshine, shops, some dogs, a wedding, bombs, candles, blood, lightning, sandwiches, snipers, looting, gunshots, babies, actors, azaleas, famine, fountains, statues, atrocities, and tanks. This play is great for a big cast. You could take any single event from the play, there's plenty to choose from, and expand it into its own substantial story. Or you could flesh out any of the 33 characters' backstories with monologues or duologues that you could devise. It's a really weird and wonderful play, and it oozes possibilities of how to stage it creatively. Clean by Sabrina Mafuz. This play feels a little more conventional. It's about three female criminals working a job together. However, they only do clean crime, which means no death, no blood, no mess, but still illegal as sin. The writer, Sabrina Mafuz, states in the opening of the play that women don't get these types of stories and that's why she's written it. I think this text is really inspiring for female performers who want to explore a different type of story to the one that they are frequently assigned. It's an exciting and dark heist play for women which places three compelling protagonists front and centre. Comment is Free by James Fritz. This is one of my favourite plays and interestingly it was originally made as a radio drama. Comment is Free is about the murder of a controversial political commentator, but more importantly it explores how a cacophony of online voices and comments reacts to it. It provokes big questions about how we interact online and what effect trolling, online abuse and digital hatred have in the real world. James Fritz states at the start that it's a play for hundreds of voices. As it was conceived as a radio play, options are limitless when it comes to physicalising it on stage. The themes, issues and questions that the play asks couldn't feel more relevant and important. Twilight Los Angeles 1992 by Anna Devere Smith. This play consists of 50 verbatim monologues from people who experienced the riots in Los Angeles in 1992. The monologues have a wonderful mix. Some are angry and emotional, some have lovely stories and characters to explore. It couldn't feel more relevant after events of 2020 with issues of racism, the right to protest and street violence all consuming the world that we live in. Each character could be extracted and their stories developed or acted out. Or you could extract single lines or individual moments from the characters' stories. You could then rework these to create a larger piece of physical theatre or an ensemble-driven performance. We Are Arrested by Jan Dundar, adapted by Pippa Hill and Sophie Ivans. This play is about an editor of a newspaper who flees persecution. They are then imprisoned for publishing a video that exposes a corrupt government. The play has a simplistic and very effective storytelling approach. It feels incredibly timely, with the persecution of journalists and government corruption being more topical than ever. Originally it was staged with three actors, but you could take Jan, the lead character, and expand it to become an ensemble of journalists from different places all around the world. 
Layla's Room by Sabrina Mafuz. This play focuses on Layla and it weaves together the voices of UK teens in a story about bullying, friendship and the dark difficulties of teenage life. The play has several young characters and the story and its issues feel urgent and compelling. There are several monologues to extract and explore. There are also movement and spoken word sections to work on. The text offers up lots of creative theatrical ideas whilst underlining vital messages about kindness, consent and acceptance. Te Internet is Serious Business by Tim Price. This play has a massive 44 named characters and focuses on the story of two online hackers changing the world. The play feels like a massive, intense technological montage which delves into the online world of Anonymous. Anonymous successfully hacked major organisations such as the FBI and CIA in 2012. I think the joy in this play is that Tim Price states that screens should not be used so you can be infinitely playful in realising an online world on stage. You could use sound, song, costume, mime, physical theatre and any other tool in your toolbox. This play delves into the dark world of the internet and is a perfect starter for making a piece about our relationship with it, especially with regards to security. Seven Methods of Killing Kylie Jenner by Jasmine Lee Jones. This play is one of the most interesting and unique texts I've ever read. The play takes place IRL in real life and in the Twitter sphere. It uses memes, gifs and tweets as its primary style of writing. The story follows Cleo and Kara, two friends experiencing the fallout from a thread of tweets attacking the American media personality Kylie Jenner. It's a really exciting text to read and it delves deep into the issues brought about by online hatred. Staging memes and tweets offers up lots of playful potential and the play is a great motivator to explore how theatre can create our contemporary digital language in a physical space. What I love about these plays is that you could take one scene, one page, one moment or one stage direction and easily use it as fuel for devising new material. These texts offer so many inspiring and useful building blocks that will enable you to quickly make interesting and exciting work. They address vital issues that affect us all. They're the perfect combo of playful and political. These plays are currently available on Drama Online, and you can order the playtexts from the publishers Nick Hearn Books, Penguin Random House and Bloomsbury. Or from Amazon. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a like and check out these other videos that I think you'll enjoy. Hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell to never miss a video. All the best.